hello again, this is Mr. Van der Veer. Um, I'll be showing you how to optimize Windows 7 performance, generally speaking. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to show you a program or a tool or a utility. I'm just going to show you how to optimize um, your Windows 7 performance. And we start by changing the swap file or the page file. Uh, let's see, here it is, advanced change. Here you see the virtual, or well, I should explain, the, the swap file or page file is the virtual, uh, virtual memory. So it's the memory that you don't have, basically. Uh, um, it's a uh, memory that's being emulated by your hard drive and is sometimes literally thousands of times slower than your actual memory. So for obvious reasons, you A, never want to use the page file, but Windows uses it anyway, so B, will have to optimize it. The best way to reduce um, your page file usage really is by increasing your, uh, your uh, available um, memory, um, but that's fairly expensive for some of us. Um, and even if you have a lot of memory, it's still recommended to optimize your page file usage. Um, this optimization is particularly useful if you have more than one physical hard drive. And this is very important, physical hard drive. Some people have um, uh, multiple partitions, but they don't know that those multiple partitions are actually one and the same hard disk. And that is actually the worst thing you can do. Um, by having uh, uh, by setting uh, the swap file on a different partition instead of a different physical hard drive. Uh, for example, if you have uh, Windows installed on C and you have all your games and everything, all your multimedia files on D, then C is your uh, basically your operating system drive. And uh, you should always try to put your swap file on a different physical drive. You should never, ever change your swap file, uh, swap file from um, one partition to another partition because that will actually decrease your performance by at least 50%. Um, so it's very essential that you only move your swap file if you have um, a, a different dedicated a separate physical hard drive. Well, in this case, I have only one partition on both my drives. These are both uh, both physical drives, as you can see. Um, C is my secondary drive, which is counterintuitive, uh, counter I know, but um, I have Windows installed on D, so that's my secondary hard drive. So I have put my swap file on C, the other uh, physical hard drive. Uh, um, and I'll explain why this is so important. Um, because whether you want it or not, Windows will occasionally use the swap file. Um, uh, this is called executive paging. You can disable executive paging, by the way, but Windows ignores that setting apparently because it will page stuff to the page file anyway. So basically what that means is it will write stuff to your swap file, even if you disable the swap file entirely. So that is a myth. You cannot entirely disable your swap file because Windows will always page some of the drivers or some of you know the, the dynamic link li libraries or whatever to the swap file. Um, so basically that's about it, uh, really. You should just uh, move your swap file from one physical drive to the other. Um, my slave drive, my C drive, um, is dedicated. So that means it does nothing at all. It just sits there and keeps data, stores data. Uh, data. Um, so it, it is a completely passive drive. It does nothing. It has no Windows files on it. It has no games on it. It has no uh, pictures, movies, anything. It, it just holds data. Um, it happens to be an old drive. It's about 20% um, slower than my mm, uh, primary drive. 
And you might wonder, well, why would you put your swap file on a slower drive? Well, here's the catch. Um, it doesn't really matter if the drive is slower. What matters is that it's dedicated. Ergo, it does nothing um, unless you want it to do something. Um, because the thing is, if your faster drive is reading and writing uh, Windows files and it is reading and writing game files, and on top of that it is also reading and writing the swap file, that's three different um, uh, instructions for your hard drive. And the thing is, your hard drive can only do one thing at a time. So the game and the Windows uh, processes have to wait uh, until the swap file process is done. Um, and this uh, translates in a lot of you know, latency, a lot of lag, a lot of uh, disk activity. So that's why it's best to uh, reserve one physical drive for the swap file. Um, and I recommend using the system managed size if you use Windows 7 or newer. If you have Windows Vista or Windows XP, you should generally use the rule of, um, I'd say, twice the size of your physical memory. Um, but this, you know, this changes uh, exponentially uh, if you have more and more uh, physical memory, um, because it would be ridiculous that if, if you have 32 uh, gigabytes of physical memory that you would have to reserve 64 gigabytes of, of, of physical disk drive um, um, storage uh, just because you have a huge amount of memory. So that, that wouldn't make sense in that aspect. Um, but the point is, if you use Windows XP or older, you can't have more than two gigabytes of physical memory anyway. So. Um, you should always have Windows Vista or Windows 7, I mean, if you have more than two gigabytes of physical memory. So that's basically it. Um, you should immediately uh, notice an, uh, a massive increase in performance and loading times in system responsiveness, things like that. Um, so the rule is put your swap file on a separate drive and put your Windows files and your game files on the other drive, on the fastest, dr fastest drive there is. And use your slower secondary drive for the swap file. That's basically it. Um, obviously, again, um, if you really want to improve your performance uh, significantly, just upgrade your physical memory. But again, that's, uh, that costs money. It's as simple as that. And this optimization costs nothing at all. Um, so this is one of the things I wanted to show you to optimize your uh, system, your Windows 7 system uh, for gaming. Enjoy uh, my, other, uh, my other movies and subscribe if you want to see more. And see you next time.